It's the week of Halloween, and what better way to start off our week in Boom Beach with the scariest event in the cycle of evil. We got Defending Hammerman today, and I do have a lot of confidence in my base. I think it's one of the better Defending Hammerman bases, and it's also decked out with two hot pots, a Simo, and some boosted ice statues. We are getting close on our metal push. We're at seven, 972, and we got some bases to clear, but we're going to be doing Defending Hammerman because I need to sit back and relax. And it is Mega Crab Week in Boom Beach as well, which means a lot of people will be buying their diamonds or instant training for the month. So if you would, get our creator code COSMIC plugged in. The shop helps us out tons but anyway stage one as expected is gonna get absolutely obliterated and a difference from the last time i attempted defending hammerman i think it was before the hq 25 update and all so we have an extra rocket launcher that's high level um actually might be maxed out yeah all my rock launchers are maxed out so we we added a um flamethrower and rocket launcher to the mix which is awesome the flamethrower is just playing it's playing safety if, if there's like a rifleman that somehow escapes in the later stages maybe the flamethrower will be able to take it out and save an attack but i don't think it's going to be doing much behind the beach mystery which ooh, we click on the beach mystery there i didn't know that it's got a camera it's scouting out i wonder if there's any tactical advantage to the beach mystery does it give insights uh, secret insights to the defenses around it, you know Increase their range because it has the camera system there, but I think it's just for show And I I honestly never knew that if you clicked on it, it did that does it do it on the main main thing it does All right So an innocent looking little tree there is actually or a surveillance system So I'm gonna use that to my advantage when I attack other people if they got the beach mystery out They are definitely watching uh, but anyway, on to stage three here. So the point of this defending hammerman base, I always go over a quick overview of why it works because we got a lot of lower level people that watch. But we just have like all the defenses clumped up because our goal here is to take out, have the rock launchers and shock launchers freeze the troops on the beach while they target like the residences in front of it. And then behind that, we got a layer of mines that usually does a lot of work. And that everything else... It's just consistent gunfire. This, this is kind of an old school defending hammerman base where um, it was before he could throw energy or GBE abilities. And it, it kind of has a disadvantage where in the later stages when he throws shock bombs, every wave and all that, it does disable quite a few buildings. So it, it's, I, I still have confidence in the base, but it's definitely a weak point in some of the the stages i don't i i don't do defending hammerman nearly as much as i should probably because it comes out on a monday and mondays are my busiest day by far so that kind of stinks but it's like it's like a free proto parts and i've been spending a lot of prototypes and if you didn't see the uh final part of the hq 25 sneak peek which came out a couple days ago that christian made you know we have an extra prototype coming um, as in not a new one, but we'll be able to place four at max level So I'll be spending those proto parts even more which means I'll probably have to start being active on warships and Trying to get those chests if I want to spend the way I do but we're already on what was this stage five? Possibly stage four or five. I think it's five um, Just because of the, the uh, How the troops are holding up they're starting to get higher level and we're starting to get our base overwhelmed and I have it on times two, so I haven't been tracking the energy he's been throwing. Ooh, also another downside. You can say this about, like, a lot of the troops. But if you got crying ears or Grenadiers, if it's a big fleet of that, it, it stinks. Because so many buildings get hit by the cryo beam. Cryo beam? The cryoneer beam. And then also the Grenadiers, their inaccuracies are, like, they're... they're they're still inaccurate, but like they're hit hitting all the buildings around it. So it's like it, Grenadiers are just overpowered when you have a lot of them in this strat. But also at the same time, the rocket launcher placement, you got three in like the third level there that just obliterate a lot of the troops on the beach. So if it's like a lot of like Zookas and riflemen, they just get tore up by the rocket launchers. So that's really nice. Um, but that's like kind of with any base design. You got the 
get the pros and the cons. And this is where the hot pots come in. You see, oh, Hammerman saw it, shocked the hot pot, but it tore, it tore up those Zookas that got into the range there. But I think this was stage five. I'm just gonna say it was stage five. We'll, we'll verify in a second, but that is gonna be down. They did bleed into the second or third layer, depending if you count the first layer of free buildings here. They did get these two defenses, so we are getting close, but now we move, oh, that was stage six. Wow, I, th I a small part of me was thinking that was stage four. Now we're on to stage seven, and this is where the real test is. The first shock bomb, not a success. It did take out a rock launcher, but our shock launcher is still up, and same with two of the other rock launchers. However, this is where the cryoneers feast. They are freezing or they were slowing down three layers of defenses there, and that's with them attacking the residences and storages there. Hopefully we can get rid of the Cryoneers or at least shock them, because this warrior, I guess the warriors, they're just gonna run into the mine line and die. But look at that, okay, our hot pot's gonna clean up. On to the next one, we got mechs. I think that's what we wanna see, because uh, we, we were able to take out the prior fleet, and now the mechs, they got a lot of health and all that, but they are just going to get frozen in time there on the run-up. Apparently not. Okay. My boom cannons are, are, are further back than I expected. All right. I think we're sitting pretty, though. Oh, how many fleets have gone down? Is this the fourth one? I'm not quite sure, but it looks like all the mechs are going to be gone here. And there's going to be two hot pots hitting the heavies. I don't see another fleet coming. This defending hammerman was not scary at all. See... Back in the day, when I didn't have ice statues, defending hammermen, you know, quite a bit of a challenge. Pretty scary. Now, these days, defending hammermen, it's like, it's like a little bug on your shoulder. A little, a little fly, you just flip it off, flies around, maybe, maybe tickles your ear a bit, doesn't work. Um, but that is our defending hammermen base. I modified it a little bit, so we're going to save the layout there. So, so we just don't have to move our rock launcher and flamethrower next time. But let's get our normal base back and let's see. Do we have any defenses or anything? We got a base back, but I am gonna clear. Don't don't tell uh don't tell my professor, but I'm gonna clear my map in class. I gotta go to a class now, but uh, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.